Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from uh, the chapter Equilibrium and uh, Equations of Equilibrium. So the, the problem uh, looks something like this. We have a system or we have two balls inside a container and we're supposed to find out the reaction forces at point F, E, C and D. So this is a spare A and we are given that uh, the radius of A is 12 centimeters, a radius of B is 10 centimeters, a weight of A is 50 newton and a weight of B is 40 newton. Now let's see how the forces are acting on these two balls. Now the first force is the weight of A which is going to be downwards and uh, the next force is uh, at point E which is a reaction force due to the container. Let's say this is RE and there is going to be another force by at point F by container on the ball A. Let's say this is point this is force F F. Now the ball A is going to have force on ball B and B is going to have force on A. We can say this is a mutual force. Let's name it F A B or let's we could say F C anything. At point B again the container is going to put some force which is going to be F D and B is going to have its own weight too so its weight of B. So these are pretty much forces on this particular system. Also the length of this container is 40 centimeters. Now let's draw a free body diagram of ball B and let's just say here we are going to have reference axes. Let's copy those reference axes. So this is going to be the x-axis and this is going to be the y-axis. The, the first force, let's uh, say it's WB on the ball. It's going to be downwards in negative direction along y-axis. It's WB. Another force is FD say this is FD and the third force is FC and since a force is vector I can just say this force is right here it's FAB and that makes an angle theta with horizontal which means I can actually draw a horizontal line and this angle is going to be theta you can actually see there is going to be a right angled triangle let me completely draw that triangle. So using this right angled triangle I can find out the value of theta. The distance AB is going to be the sum of radius of A and B which is 10 plus 12 20, equals 22 centimeters. And let's say this point is G so A to G is going to be this length is is uh, 12 centimeters and uh, this length is 10 centimeters. The leftover length is uh, AG which is equal to 18 centimeters. Now the angle theta we can use cos theta which is equal to base divided by hypotenuse which is AG divided by AB which is equal to 18 divided by 22. So theta is equal to cos inverse of 18 over 22 which is equal to 35.09 then something I can say this is 35.1 degrees. The force which is due to A on B or the mutual force FAB let's say this is FAB is making an angle 35.1 degrees uh, with x-axis. I'm going to erase this part. So I did a quick redraw of free body diagram of A which looks something like this. Now let's find the reaction forces at point D and uh, and uh, at point C. 
I'm going to uh, make a convention which is forcing forces along this direction are going to be positive FAB is going to have a component along x-axis which is FAB cos 35.1 degrees and since FD is in negative direction I'm going to uh, take FD as negative and FD equals to zero now I can write this relation or equation as FD equals to FAB cos 35.1 degrees let's say this is relation 1 and along y-axis this direction is going to be positive and the sum of forces along y-axis should be 0 for the body at equilibrium now uh, FAB is going to have component along y-axis which is FAB sine 35.1 degrees and uh, um, this weight of ball B is downwards or in negative direction I'm just going to say consider it as negative and WB equals to 0 I can write this relation as FAB sine 35.1 degrees equals to 40 I can further solve this relation as and find the value of FAB which is going to be equal to 40 divided by sine 35.1 degrees which is 69.57 Newton now also I can substitute this value of FAB on this equation and find FD FD is going to be equal to 69.57 multiplies cos 35 dot 1 degree it is going to be equal to 56 dot 92 so FAB is equal to 69 dot 57 Newton and FD is equal to 56 dot 92 Newton let's erase this part and let's make another free body diagram I'm not going to actually I'm not going to explain the free body diagram I'm just going to draw it and solve for the reaction forces since you I believe you have good foundation of free body diagram by this point this is free body diagram for A F B D of A and uh, I just noticed something I wrote this force as RE now I just saw something I I wrote this force as RE and uh, since I'm using a, a naming convention as FF FD FE FC so I should have used FE now, it doesn't really make a big difference but since I'm go I'm using some specific kind of uh, naming convention I'm, I'm saying forces not not reaction forces so I just thought maybe I should uh, write FE instead of RE you could just write RE RF RB RD anything it doesn't really matter it's just name to a force now we know the value of FAB which is 69.57 Newton from our last calculation let's do some calculation for ball A in X direction we consider this direction to be positive and sum of forces along X axis should be 0 for equilibrium and uh, let's add all forces along X axis let's extend this force for some to make things simpler and let's say FAB and let's copy this angle as 35.1 degrees so along x-axis the first let's uh, say FF is positive and uh, FAB cos 35.1 degree equals to 0 now I can say FF equals to FAB cos 35.1 degrees which is equal to 56.92 Newton this FF is equal to 56.92 let's say this direction along y-axis is positive and the sum of forces along y-axis should be zero for equilibrium let's start with the force FE FE is in positive direction and weight of 
um, ball A is in negative direction and FAB sine 35.1 degrees is in uh, negative direction so I'm just going to say it's the sum is 0 so FE equals to weight of A plus FAB sine 35.1 degrees FE is going to be equal to 89.65 Newton so FE is equal to 89.65 Newton I believe now we have calculated all those forces which uh, we needed uh, using a free body diagram and uh, the condition of equilibrium for those two balls so force at E is equal to 89.65 Newton force AB which is also force at C which is the mutual force is equal to 69.57 Newton force at point D is equal to 56.92 Newton and force at point F is equal to 56.92 Newton so that's all pretty much in this video and thanks for watching